Imagine you had a conversation with someone. Imagine that what they told you gave you the power to believe in yourself. Imagine you could do anything in the world. What would you do? This is our team at MGRA. We'd like you to meet the rest of our promotions team. <laughs> My name is Mitch Goble, I'm an artist. Together with my team, we're working on a project to donate $50,000 to the Wildlife Warriors. On the side of that, we've also started our own wildlife conservation company. To achieve these goals, we're using my art. What makes my art special is an effect that I've developed. This effect is a world first. As far as we know, and when I say we, I speak for some of the biggest galleries in Australia. No one else has ever done this before. Imagine that the only person stopping you from getting what you really want in life is yourself. About three months ago I had a conversation with someone and I asked them for some advice on my art in terms of where I should go next. At that stage I just sold my first two paintings. Each one I'd sold for three and a half thousand dollars each and that's when I realised that this could be something big. Really long story short, the advice that person gave me was this, that I should stop listening to the voice inside my head, that little voice that we all have that tells us something is too hard, and it's bigger than you, that you'll fail. I underestimated how powerful that voice really was and until I realised that, it controlled my entire life. So they told me that if I could do that, if I could stop listening to that voice, that anything could be possible. That if I could take that advice on and believe in myself, then any possibility I can think of could become a reality. So from that conversation, I decided what I wanted to do with my life and I created an idea. That idea has now become a reality and we've created our own not-for-profit wildlife and habitat conservation company. The focus of the company is to protect an area of temperate and alpine rainforest in an area of Gippsland called Goondra. Goondra is home to seven times more the amount of endangered wildlife than anywhere else in Victoria, and some of the trees and ecosystems there are more than 600 years old. Sadly, Goondra is still under threat from logging companies. The goals of MGRA Wildlife and Habitat Conservation are to draw attention to the beauty and the ecological value of the area through tourism specifically with a documentary of the area. If people had any idea how beautiful this place is, they would be fighting for it alongside MGRA and Environment East Gippsland, another conservation company with support. Aside from this, we also want to buy land with high ecological value and protect it by putting a conservation covenant on it. Doing this will mean that even in 100 years time, when I'm long gone, this land will be protected by law. No one can ever touch it. To enable us to achieve these goals, we need voice and we need money. 
On Wednesday the 5th of November this year, we are holding an auction for my artwork at the Moss Green Art Gallery in Melbourne. The goal is to sell all 25 artwork pieces. They'll all have different price reserve, but most have been valued at $6,000 each. Some will go for more, some will go for less. With that money, I'm going to donate $50,000 to a conservation group started by Steve and Terry Irwin, the Wildlife Warriors. With any extra money, I'll pay off my debts for this project, which is around $35,000, and any money beyond that will go back into our own conservation efforts. $50,000. To put that into perspective for you, I'm not coming from a place with money. I didn't make $50,000 working full time last year. By giving that kind of money away to an organisation with more or less the same goal, will attract attention from people who are supporting the wildlife warriors. People who want to make a difference in the environment, and even if that cause didn't interest you, wouldn't you still want to know why some 24 year old dude gave that kind of money away? For a lot of reasons, people are going to pay attention, and that's what's going to give us a voice. It's going to give us a platform to make a difference. The idea that created this movie you're watching right now is to portray a vision that I wrote about how I was going to transform this idea into a reality. So the day after I came up with the idea, I resigned from my job, which I'd been at for four and a half years, and I wrote the vision project. When I released that document on Facebook, it went crazy. I had people sharing it that I didn't even know. It got shared almost 200 times, so potentially reaching tens of thousands of people. The acknowledgement of Australia Zoo, Wildlife Warriors, and Terry Irwin was a huge kickstart to the project. I flew up to Australia Zoo the weekend after releasing the Vision Project and I met with Cynthia Thompson, the Wildlife Warriors Development Manager. They loved the idea and they showed me what that type of money could do for them. This money is going to pay for a vet nurse's wages for a year to save hundreds of injured native wildlife. So I signed all the official fundraising paperwork. I went back home and announced what had happened in the past few days on Facebook and that's when it just went insane and it became real for me. I had people contacting me that I hadn't spoken to in 10 years saying how amazing they thought it all was and all of a sudden I had people wanting to be a part of this. From that came what I call the team. So now on a daily basis I'm working with people who have become some of my best friends. They all bring a different skill set to the project. We've also had a bunch of other people help along the way and one of the most powerful parts of this project has been our promotions team. We held an event to tell everyone about the Pretty Lights effect that I developed, our plans for the conservation company in detail, and to build a promotions team. So now every time we release new artwork or a video, or we want to draw a lot of attention to something, we get everyone in that team, which is just over 100 people, to share this on Facebook. So now we're reaching audiences of around 30,000 people each week on Facebook alone. And our Instagram page is even more successful. So these are the steps we've taken so far to create a voice. In short, the summary of this project is that we only need 25 people to buy those 25 artworks at the auction, and this is done, and this becomes real. The reason that I took on the advice that person gave me in the initial conversation was because I wanted to stop being that person I used to be. I wanted to stop living the life of the person that I created through my own insecurities to hide the person that I thought was a real me. I now live my life honestly. To the extent that I've come clean about every lie I had in my entire life, every bad thing I ever done. I even told some of the shopping centre car parks that I'd tailgated cars on the way out to avoid paying three bucks for a ticket. And as funny as that is, some of the things I've had to do in order to get my integrity have been the hardest things I've ever had to do. I told the love of my life that I'd cheat on her when we were together. It was one of the hardest things I've ever had to do. And I did all of this because I wanted to put every bit of my energy into this project and have nothing holding me back. I don't have a single lie in my entire life now that I hide behind. I've literally changed my entire life in order to focus on this and this only. There is no way I'm going to let this fail. I don't have another job, I don't have a girlfriend, I don't have kids, I don't have a mortgage. The only commitment I have in my entire life is a phone bill once a month and petrol. This has literally become my entire life. I don't think about anything else. 
I know this is going to happen. I'll make it work. And the most exciting thing about all of this is that this is just the beginning. I know how far I'm going to take this. I know how big I want this to become. I've already looked into what it's going to take to make MGRA an international conservation company. It sounds cliche to say this, but I want to change the world. If you want to support this, please share this message. Follow my art on Instagram and Facebook. Come to the auction. That's what gives this project a voice. You. I'm not going to wait around for our forest and wildlife to crash and burn. I'm going to make a difference. Please help me make a change. For all the information on the project, go to our website at www.litchgobalresonart.com. Read the vision, check out my art, and if you'd like to, you can make a donation. Imagine that the only person stopping you from getting what you really want in life is yourself.